Okay, I got a brand new pink bag from Nadine West today, and so I'm gonna go ahead and dive in and see what's in here. This is my fourth bag, um, and hopefully there's some keepers in here. I'm looking forward to it. I did change some of my preferences to a lower price point, and I think I'll be a lot more satisfied probably with um, what I end up with. I've got my, I've just undone that piece because it's very strong, and um, I'll put their link down below and they explain everything, but you will be reusing this nice bag. Um, send anything back you don't want, so you want to make sure you take good care of it. Um, it's a nice way to, that they're repurposing things or, you know, being conservative with things. Uh, you have your prepaid mailer and then a list with the prices, but I will put that aside for now. Looks like I have two bundles. Um, here's the first bundle. It has nice stickers. Always so neatly packed. Like Christmas every time. I like these colors. It looks like a nice olive, which you all know is my go to color this time. Ooh, that's a neat detail. And then this nice kind of caramel, camel color. So the first thing feels fantastic. What is this? Ooh, some pants. Wow, these feel really comfy. Look at these cool little um, details. There's some pull-on pants, but the fabric, I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of, but it just feels great. I hope they fit well. Um, looks like a pull-on skinny pant, so that's neat. Has some back pockets and um, Kind of like a legging, but with a little, maybe a little more like a pull-on pant. I'll look at the prices when I um, get a try on. And the next thing is the top. This is interesting. Let's see. I should go from the bottom, but I'm too lazy tonight. Let's see. Okay, it looks like a swing top. Oh, it's, yep, it's got pockets, kind of like a swing tunic uh, with pockets and this nice big keyhole, but it looks like it wouldn't be too low or anything. I don't have anything at all in this color, and this would be really great. I think under a vest or something would give you a little shape. And yet, um, you could still, you know, keep the, the fun details and the short sleeves. It feels really nice. So we'll see how that works out. That with the um, olive pants would give sort, sort of a that's safari um, color scheme that was so popular last year and probably this year too. And here's my second last bundle for this time. It's got some silkyish sort of print and then a, a beautiful kind of raspberry color. I haven't run into any jewelry yet. So I oh, see the bags peeking out. I was afraid I'd forget and then drop them off. Okay. like a kind of a cold shoulder top. Get the straps to lay right so you can get a look at it. Um, this is pretty. It's pretty light. Well, it is sort of bright. Uh, it has a little more of a, a purpley berry tone to it in person, at least what I'm seeing here, as opposed to on the um, screen. But looks like a pretty little cold shoulder and flowy. And this is. 
the one pants. Oh, it's kind of got a wide leg in this sort of pattern. That's neat. No pockets, just a plain. Looks like they might be meant to be an ankle pant. I'll see when I try them on. Um, but I don't have very long legs, so uh, sometimes an ankle pant will need more just like normal pant length on me. And then I have three jewelry bags, so let's see what we have here. I'll tuck the other two in my pocket. I have the beautiful little pink organza bags. And the first are these pretty little almost look handmade silver earrings. These are nice. I don't have anything like that. I won't try them on unless I plan on keeping them, so we'll see what the price point is, but they have a nice weight and they look well made. They actually look handmade, like I said. Bracelet. I guess since I'm trying these on, I should look at the things. The earrings were called Ingrid in silver, and they are $9.99. So that would, you know, if nothing else, that would be the price of my bag and my shipping. Uh, this is the this is the Rowan bracelet because it's silver and aqua. So that's what this one is. I hope this one fits because it's really pretty. Oh wow. I really like that. I have a Kendra Scott um, turquoise arrowhead necklace that I got from eBay and this would pair nicely with that. It has that sort of southwestern vibe and I like these little floating. This looks like really well made. That one is $19.99. I would totally, totally get that. Oh, it's in my pocket. I forgot. <laughs> Woohoo! This looks right up my alley too. They, they hit the nail on the head with this jewelry um, selection this time. Oh, this is so cool. I have to try it on with one of the solid tops, but look at that. Oh, I love that crescent moon design. Let's see if I can just slip it on. My shirt's way too busy to do this justice, but my Louisiana shirt. Um, but yeah, oh, I love that length. Yes, oh yes. This is the Rhonda necklace in silver, $24.99. Wow. I'm really, really happy with that. I love the weight of it. It feels really nice. I like that design too. Okay, well, I'll be trying these on and we'll see how everything fits. is probably not the ideal for long gorgeous talk but this is what I was wearing so um I like it if I could figure out what bra would work because I'm not gonna wear a strapless bra that's just the back check um maybe a bra like this with a bralette over it that was a little more of a complimentary color or maybe if can think of. I'll have to look at the film. I do love the weight of it. I think it's super flattering. I like my shoulders and then it covers up the, you know, the arms a little. I like how it is flowy. Get down a little bit. I like the flowiness of it. Um, the cut, you know. I think it is showing a lot of <laughs> back issues, but um, that's going to be with almost anything with me, so I do like it. Uh, so we'll see. This is the, 
Aisha Top in Mauve, $24.49, so that's a great price, yeah. I'm glad I adjusted my price point. I think the color is super flattering. I do like the cut. I like the straps. Um, like I said, I'll have to see what color bras I have in this sort of um, cut. And um, I guess it's just my generation or my old-fashioned ways that, you know, I just have this hang up about bra straps showing, even when it's something pretty that, and they don't make very many supportive bralettes that I've encountered in my size range. And then if you had anything that was overly lacy under here, I feel like it would show through the fabric. So anyway, that's a lot to go through, <laughs> but um, we'll see how I like this on playback as I don't have my glasses on and I'm getting just a vague blurry idea. But on to the pants, which are the, now I'll admit, admit I have not had a pair of, oh, I just noticed a cool detail about them. I'll have to show you in a second. Um, the bottoms are the Cindy bottoms for $23.99. Great price. Let's see what we can pick up down here. Okay. Haven't worn some wide leg, excuse my socks. Haven't worn any wide leg pants in a while. I do like the pattern. I'm into this sort of, you know, Southwestern pattern. I dig it. And look at here, you have a split <laughs> from the knee down. I did not notice that till a moment ago. Excuse me, I've got my winter legs on, so that's probably neither here. I will probably not be keeping these. I'll see if one of my um, two older daughters might want them uh, because they are really cool. I think they would be great with a pair of sandals in the summer or even in the spring. For some reason, I'm seeing, like in my mind's eye, I'm seeing this with like a like a chartreuse top or something. I think that would just like, you know, the, the new neon trend is everything right now. So I don't know. Um, I think it'll look fine from what I'm seeing now. I'm feeling all the, like the waist is, like the rise is a little shorter than what I would need where the waist is hitting me. And uh, you can get a better idea of the necklace it's a solid top. I, I'm keeping this necklace. There's no two ways about it. And the bracelet. All right. And they both pair well with the pants. That play with the play with the like. All right. I'll do the next outfit. Just say. Okay. I have on the second pairing, and I really love it with the uh, uh, this necklace and bracelet or everything. Everything just really could be mixed and matched. Uh, this top would go great with those other pants, except sometimes flowy on top of flowy can be an issue. So um, the proportions, like this is a tighter bottom, flowier top, and then that one was a little more of a um, shorter top with a flowier bottom. So I think that kind of pairs better. Anyway, long story short. Um, color, I don't really have anything this color. I'll have to see how it looks in the playback. Um, you know, part of me likes it. Part of me says, is this baby poop? I'm not sure. <laughs> if this was black, I would definitely keep it because it's got the pockets. I wonder if they have this in black. I guess I could shoot them an email and if they can't exchange it, maybe they could send it next time. Um, I like the look of this. Do I have it laying right? Uh, yeah, because it gives you a little something without, it is not at all low cut, so, and I love it with this necklace, like it just all fits well. I uh, like the sleeves. Uh, let's go down a little bit. Okay, so it's a tunic length, has the pockets. I know I'm very crooked, I'm, I'm forever crooked, I need it. Anyway, um, so, like I said, if this was charcoal, black, you know, purple, lime, I'm just not sure about this color for me, um, but we'll see. If I could tell myself it's golden, it's camel, but is it, 
you know, <laughs> mine just keeps going to negative color. So anyway, we'll see. But it does pair well with these uh, olive pants. They do have a bit more of a sheen to them in this light. They're super comfortable. I'm not sure what this fabric is reminding me of. Um, it's got pockets of their own. I'm not going to pick it up because it's not doing my midsection any favors. Uh, but it's got the back pockets that are functional, although tiny. And a nice uh, front pocket. The Alexis top, they're calling this coffee. If it were what I would call coffee. Oh wow, in a mocha, this would be fantastic. Did you see it in mocha? I wonder if I could dye it. Fabric content is, there's no size, is there a size difference? Not sure what the fabric content is. We'll look into that possibility. Okay, so <laughs> I'm rambling. Let's see. Uh, the Alexis top in coffee is only $13.49. Can I dye it? Do you think I could? I could even go green. I may have some green dye. Depending on what the fabric is, um, I might keep this $13.49. 1349. Yes. Okay. Okay. You won me, Nadine West. You have got, you win. I'm keeping this top. 1349. I, I am definitely keeping it. Okay. Um, and the pants are the Alley Skinny in Olive. 29.49. Not a bad price. Um, but I don't think I'll be keeping them as comfy as they are. They do have that little bit of sheen, so I'd have to see. And I'm not, uh, I'm probably not going to keep everything. If there were, like, you know, there isn't really a discount if you, for the more pieces you keep, the more discount you would get because the prices are, are a pretty good price point anyway. So I can understand that. So everything together, uh, they don't have the total on here. The total's on the app. Um, but I'm pretty positive right now, price on this sold me, I'm, look for, uh, maybe that'll be a future video next time I do a Nadine West, uh, look to see what, what color I've managed to transform my $13.49 top into, because I love her, the color is not my favorite, but we are going, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to make this happen, Alexis. We're going to make it happen. And I'm going to keep that for $13.49. I'm not sure about the Aisha top. I like it. I'll look at the playback with glasses on and see what she looks like. I'm just not sure if, I'm, if I'll wear it with the bra strap situation. But um, yeah, um, I, 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 I did what I could see was flattering. But can I get it out of my head about the bra straps? Or if I'll look and see what 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 other. If I, I have a couple of bras in this silhouette, and so maybe I have a color that would go better with it than black. Um, so that's a maybe. Twenty four forty nine. It's not super cheap, but it's not bad either. Um, the black print pants twenty three ninety nine. Unless one of the girls want it, it's going to go back. But it was great. I, it was fun to try. I would love a pair of shorts or even a skirt with some pockets in that fabric. Maybe I like it. <laughs> I'm in for it. Or a little dress, like a little chic dress. And I, I want that fabric. But that cut just wasn't my jam. Um, the Alley Skinnies, $29.49 in olive. Which are these? No. But they are comfy, but I. Not really good at all. Uh, the earrings in silver, $9.99. I'll have to see. I'll hold them up and see. Um, they are nice, pretty, and, you know, one of the girls may wear them also, and that's a great price. The necklace in silver, $24.99. You know, it's not the cheapest thing, but this is really nice. It's a good weight, and I just love how it falls, especially with this top. And I could see it just on a plain black um, top or a sweater. Uh, I like the way the chain feels. And um, I hope you never tarnish and that you look this way forever. And then the bracelet, which I'm not really a bracelet person, but 
It fits well. The bracelet in Rowan um, Silver and Aqua is $19.99, and I like it too. It feels like great quality. So yeah, this bag is a winner. <laughs> I'm so pleased. You know, I haven't filmed, um, I don't think I filmed my second bag and then my third bag. I filmed, I'll see if I can edit it and still upload it. So you may be seeing my third bag after my second bag. I mean, after my fourth bag. <laughs> but um, that's just because, I don't know, where I was having to film and the light situation wasn't ideal. But anyway, um, yeah. I didn't keep anything from the third bag. If that matters. But uh, this bag is awesome. I would have kept the entire first bag if it hadn't been right at Christmas. I loved it. Uh, the second bag I did keep a dress from, which I show in the third bag unbagging, <laughs> uh, which you may or may not ever see. And then um, this bag, you know, I wouldn't mind keeping everything, uh, but you know, the two pants will definitely go back and maybe the mauve top, but the rest of it is mine, I'm pretty sure. So I look forward to um, another bag pretty soon. I have myself set up for twice a month and it's really been fun. It's really super fun. You don't have to keep, I mean, you don't have to keep anything. I, I didn't keep anything from the last bag or the first bag. Um, but that was a different situation that the, the last bag, I didn't really like anything enough to keep it. And so I just left feedback on the app. It's super easy. There's a star system and then a little area to put comments right there on your invoice. Uh, you just send it back and they charge you for what you kept. And um, easy peasy, but uh, my $9.78 shipping fee will go towards anything I keep. Uh, so that's really good. And I'm super happy with it. I look forward to the next one. So this has cheered me up immensely. And um, I'll see you guys later. Let me know down below what color I should try to tra transform my top into. And if you know anything about at home dyeing, I know there's, um, other than Rit Dye, that there are new dyes for different fabrics now. Um, so let me know what you, what your experience with dyeing. This probably has some form of ray on it, I'm assuming. I don't know. Should I leave her alone? But I, I really want to, really want to turn her a different color. I'm thinking a green would be pretty easy to go into. But something about it wants me to turn her like plum. And then there's always black. I don't know how black would go over this color, but it might work. Anyway, let me know about down below if you have any at home dying experience, um, things like this, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.